In this video, we're going to learn about constant array parameters in C++, including how they can make our code safer by preventing programming mistakes. The way that arrays are passed to functions in C++ is different than the way that variables are passed to functions, at least by default. By default, variables are passed by value to functions. So for example, we could create a function with a void return type called func, and that function could have a single int parameter called a. And the function could take a and increment a by one by adding one to a and assign the result back to a. Now we could call this function from main with an int variable as an argument. So we could say int x is equal to 10. We could call func with x. And let's output x after calling the function. Now we might expect that x would be 11 because we pass x to this function. This function accepts this parameter a here and it increments a by one. So maybe x should be 11 after this. But if we save and run our program, we're gonna find that x is still 10. So what's going on here is what's called pass by value. So when x is passed to the function, what's really passed is the value 10. And a is set to the value 10 and sure, a is incremented within this function, but that's not gonna affect x in the main function. And we call that pass by value. And what's going on here is that when we pass x here to the function, what's really being passed is the value that x is set to. So the value 10 is being passed to the function. a is going to be set to 10, and sure, a is going to be incremented within this function body. But that's going to have no effect on the variable x inside the main function here. When we pass an array to a function, we'll get a different behavior. So for example, if I said here void do work, and this function accepts an array as an argument. If we try to modify the array element at index two, and we set it equal to 99, Let's see what will happen now. So in our main function, we'll make an array called data. And we'll set data equal to the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we'll call the do work function with our data array. And when we're done, what I'll do is make a loop to output the elements in the array data. So we'll output data open bracket, we'll output i, which is going to be the index, we'll output close bracket is equal to, and then we'll output the value of the element in the data array at index i. And if we save and run this, we might get something surprising here. So the element at index two is set to 99. So when passing an array to a function in C++, we're getting a different behavior than when we passed in a variable. So somehow we're able to modify the array in the main function using this do work function when the function is passed that array as an argument. The reason why this is the case is that in C++, when we pass an array to a function, what's really being passed is what's called a pointer. In other words, a memory address. And it's the memory address of the first element in the data array in main, in this case here. So it's not like this array parameter here is gonna contain a copy of all the elements in the data array. This array here under the hood, we could say, is really the same array as data in the sense that both array and data in main both represent a memory address where the contents of the array begin in memory. So I can even change this parameter to actually be a pointer with star array here. And if we save run the program, we'll get the exact same result as before with the data array at index two being set to 99. Now, many times when we pass an array to a function, we don't want that function to modify the array. For example, maybe the function analyzes the array and finds the smallest or largest element in the array, 
where it finds the average of the elements in the array, or maybe it just outputs the elements in the array. In all those situations, it would be a serious bug if the function were to modify the array. What we want to do is make our code safer so that if future authors try to change the code, they don't accidentally modify the array in the function. The const keyword can prevent these sorts of programming mistakes from occurring. So here if we say const int array, like this, the function will no longer be allowed to modify the array. The compiler will actually flag this as an error now. So if we save and run the program now, we'll get this error. Read-only variable is not assignable. Now we can still work with the array. We could output the array element at index two by saying here, array at index two is equal to an output array at index two. So the function can still be useful. It can still do work with the array. In this case here, we're just outputting the element at index two. But by using the const keyword here, we've safeguarded our code against potential future programming mistakes. If someone modifies the function in the future and tries to change the array elements in the function, the compiler will produce an error. And whoever is modifying the code will at least be made aware that when the function was written, the intention was that the array not be modified. This sort of safeguarding can prevent hard to find bugs from appearing in our program. So if our function is not supposed to modify the array it's being passed, we should use the keyword const with the array parameter. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.